Mark Zuckerberg is one of the richest people in the world. He's also one of the most powerful. His ability to control data is unprecedented. Many people believe that social networking sites are silly websites that share kitten videos. And of course, that's fantastic. But the data of the users of these platforms are heavily in depth. It goes far beyond kittens and puppies. But should Facebook be broken up? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I saw an article today, and I really thought that this would be an interesting topic for a video. I'm going to talk about something that is in the media right now. You're seeing it being covered regularly, and this is probably going to change in the near future. We've seen regulations in Europe being introduced recently. We've seen the talk of it coming in the United States, and that is what will happen to technology companies in the future. They are growing rapidly, and their power and their level of control has been expanding at a rate that was not predicted, that isn't in the law, and individuals are getting worried. We've seen different things occurring, and suddenly it's uncontrollable because billions of people are using these platforms, and things spread very fast. So I wanted to talk about Mark Zuckerberg, and I think it's important to focus on an individual like this, but also the company itself. The article that I'm looking at today is really about what has happened with Facebook as it grew more and more rapidly over the years. We've seen the talk coming of regulation. This happens to be Tim Cook. He said that tech needs to be regulated or it could cause great damage to society. We are advocating for a strong regulation. I don't see another path. You've probably seen this when they've talked about it in previous instances, not just Tim Cook, but others as well. This here could be seen as good, could be seen as bad. I want to know your opinion. I'm not really going to talk too much in depth about what I believe, but I will mention a few points later on. I want to know what you think about regulation of the government agencies on these particular companies. This right here is the article, as well as another one I have linked in the description. And basically, the co-founder of Facebook had a few words to say. The government must hold Mark accountable. For too long, lawmakers have marveled at Facebook's explosive growth and overlooked their responsibility to ensure that Americans are protected and markets are competitive. Any day now, the FTC expected to impose a $5 billion fine on the company, but that's not enough, nor is Facebook's offer to appoint some kind of privacy czar. After Mark's congressional testimony last year, there should have been some calls for him to truly reckon with his mistakes. Instead, the legislators who questioned Question him were derided as too old and out of touch to understand how tech works. That's the impression Mark wanted Americans to have because it means little will change. And that's up until now, 2019. We're seeing this as it progresses throughout time. There haven't been many changes that have actually been put in place. We are a nation with a tradition of reigning in monopolies. No matter how well-intentioned the leaders of these companies may be, Mark's power is unprecedented and un-American. It's time to break up Facebook. That's what he said. The co-founder, I believe he says here that he hasn't worked at the company in 10 years. A lot has changed in the company in that period of time. But this is something that we need to think about. If they're going to regulate, if they're going to break up this company, what exactly could happen to it? Is this going to resolve the issues that are being experienced today? Now, is it the fact that Facebook makes a lot of money? Is really that the, you know, the issue, the underlying issue that wants uh, that they want to be resolved? Is it because they have too much data? Is it because they have created a monopoly on social media? Well, I don't think so. I think there's something else going on. What the government has in mind here is that they want to be able to control who can say what. There are teams of people that work for these social media companies and basically they go out there and they can delete, 
all of the comments and all of the posts and everything that they do not want to have on their platforms. And there's a big argument based on this, as we've seen recently in the news. But I want to know what you think about that particular issue. Obviously, they have a reason that they want this, because no longer can you just censor these things through the radio, through traditional methods where you would put a billboard up somewhere. They have control over that. But now because of social media, things spread very fast. I want to tell people to remember something. The way that we can share a message, the way that we as individuals have power is by using different forms of communication. Whether we want to make a phone call, whether we want to stand on the corner of our street and scream at the top of our lungs, or whether we want to use social media, it's a fantastic way to share information. We can make our own websites and generate traffic in order to come to our site, and then we have our own platforms. This is important. So I do believe that they have become a service to a lot of individuals to gather attention, and we would not be able to have this level of communication without some type of social media. This has really changed the way that individuals access information. There's no doubt about that. But we talk about splitting the company up. We talk about monopolies. And I want you to go back into the pages of history to talk about Microsoft. If you remember back in the year 2000, they were going to break up Microsoft. In fact, I think a lot of people believed that Microsoft broke up. But if you look closely at it, did that really even happen? Well, as it says in this article here out of time, so why aren't there two Microsofts today? Well, in the particular case that was suggested to them, you got to break up. That's it. It was settled. That's the way. Well, the case found its way to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, which rejected that individual Jackson's remedy and accused him of unethical conduct after it was revealed that he had a private conversations with reporters about the trial while it was still ongoing. Microsoft would settle with the Department of Justice in 2001 by agreeing to make it easier for their competitors to get software more closely integrated with the Windows operating system. Okay, so they basically conceded slightly and that's it. If we didn't get broken up, there was no problem. All they had to do was have a couple conversations. And it seems today that they're bigger than ever. We're talking about a company that is one of the very, very few that were at the top of the list of biggest companies in the year 2000. And now, 2019, nearly two decades later, are at the top of the list. Again, it's incredible to see the level of power that this one company has. They didn't get broken up. They didn't get regulated in the way that they talked about for the last two decades. Nothing really had changed. And what I want to note from this is that we can see that there have been times in which we get this, you know, the the people are all riled up, they're excited, things are going to make, you know, they're, they're going to happen, they're going to actually get put into motion, and then something changes, we get distracted, we get moved on to other issues, this gets buried, that gets buried. It's very difficult to be able to do something like this, and unfortunately, I don't exactly know what they are going to try and achieve. If you look at what they did in Europe, it wasn't good, it wasn't beneficial, and of course, we're dealing with those issues as they come along. Then you got the individuals like Tim Cook coming out there saying we got to regulate, but I'm not exactly sure what they are trying to achieve. Again, this to me just really reeks of a potential takeover by these big establishments, by those that are in control. They're just going to make it worse for individuals. They're not going to make it better. Look at this here, dominating the market. On the left-hand side, platforms owned by Facebook. You have Facebook, 2.3 billion monthly active users. Many of them are fake. Then you have WhatsApp, then you have Messenger and Instagram. We're talking about billions of people that use the platform, even if a large percentage of them are fake, it's still a huge quantity. Then on the others, you could see others that are, are within this that are just huge overall. Obviously, the amount of data that, that goes through these platforms on a daily basis is 
unimaginable and it's actually uncontrollable. They try to use algorithms, they try to make it happen, but I really don't think they are able to do so. My thoughts on this are that we have these massive, huge companies that are in the pockets of all of these politicians. They're making this all happen, and I don't think that they are going to actually create meaningful change that is positive to individuals. They might go out there, they might write a bill, they might make things happen, but I don't think it's going to be in the benefit of you and I. That's all for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say and what you think is actually going to happen. So if you appreciated this video, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like, you are supporting me and you're supporting this channel. So I do appreciate that very much. Last but not least, if you want the financial education you weren't taught in school, these two books have everything you need. All the details, foundation, history, asset classes, making money, reducing your debt, all of the data that you need to know. Check it out at the link in the description. If you want the audiobook, that's available at themoneygps.com. Don't go anywhere. You definitely have to watch this video. Click on it and I will see you there.